guys, welcome back once again. So this is our first tutorial on source transformation. Source transformation. So we've already tackled network reduction and we are going to what? Use the source transformation technique to calculate the voltage across what the two ohm resistor. Very not. So what is source transformation about? Source transformation is the process of converting a voltage source to a current source and vice versa. You can convert a voltage source. A voltage source that is connected in series with a resistor. If I have a voltage, let's say Vx, and it is connected in series to resistor Rx, the transformation is saying that we can change this one to a current source. But that current source is what's going to be in parallel with the resistor. So we can have it as a what? A current source. And the current source will be what? Parallel to the resistor Rx. That same resistor there. The current source will be parallel to it. So what then is the value of this voltage? Uh, sorry, this current source. Ohm's law says that the current R is equal to what? V over R. So if I need the value of this new current source, it is going to be what? The voltage divided by the resistance. So the I, that is Is, is what? Vs over Rs. So this means we've transformed a voltage source to a current source. We can as well transform a current source, which is what? Parallel with a resistor. We can transform this one to a voltage source and that voltage source should be what series with the resistor so let's call this resistor r1 let's call this one rx so we are going to get a voltage so one thing you should notice that the direction of this current flow should reflect on the voltage the current here is moving up it means the voltage source its polarities we should have the positive at the top we are using the conventional current flow because this is moving up, the voltage, it could out the plus should be here, the minus should be there. So the value of this voltage, let's say Vx, is what? Vx is equal to Ix times the resistance, so which law V is equal to Ir. So to get this value, we need to multiply the current by the resistance. So Ix R1 will give us the value of the voltage here, and that voltage will be in series with the same resistor value, R1. So this is all what source transformation is about. Changing from voltage to current and then current toward voltage. But to change the voltage, it should be connected in series to a resistor. And to change the current, it should be connected in what? Parallel to the resistor. Good. So using this idea, we will now solve our first problem. Using what? The source transformation technique. Good. So let's come back to our question. Looking at this question, we have several number of what sources. We have three current sources and a single voltage source. So we are going to use a transformation to transform the sources. By here, our idea is that let's transform the sources and get the same source in the circuit. And let's say we have current and voltage. So we can either transform the current and we get voltage throughout, or let's say we can transform the voltage and get what the current, but you have to choose wisely. So in this, what I can do is I have a current parallel to four. So I can use the transformation rule because a current should be parallel to a resistor. I can transform this portion. This current is also parallel to what this line. I can also transform this. This current is also what parallel to this five. It means I can also what transform this. Transform them to voltage and let's maintain this voltage here. So let's transform this side. A current parallel to this will give us the voltage which is this now what will be the polarity of the voltage? the current is moving down so it means your voltage has to have the, the positive at the bottom please take notes and that voltage will be what? series the series can be here series with what? the resistor and the resistor is 4 so we have 4 ohms let's continue with the portion of the circuit so we have these 2 ohms if not touch that one yet we have the 30 Ohms also here, so 32 minutes. Now let's come to this element here. 
a current parallel towards this one, we can change it to voltage. Where would the plus be? The current is moving in this direction to so have our plus here, our minus. And that voltage will be what? Series with the resistor. Nine. Then we come here to we will get a voltage source in series with what? The resistor. The resistor value is still what? Five. But the voltage will be calculated. So what will be the polarity? It is moving down. So we have what? Plus, minus. That's all. Just convert, convert your sources. Just use the appropriate uh, polarity and the formula. So let's get the value for this voltage. V is equal to high R. So I times R three four give us what twelve volts. The voltage here two times nine eight volts. The voltage here I R so six times five is giving us what thirty volts. So now we have what a series circuit. The same current is what going through, and we are asked to get the voltage for these two. So we can use the idea of photons so V is equal to I R. We get the current, then we multiply the current by the what resistor. Since you have the same current, we can also use the voltage divider rule. I think we have to use that one so that we get used to it. The voltage divider rule. So let's see. We have several number of voltage sources. One, two, three, four. They are in series. So when voltage sources are in series, we can add or subtract to get an equivalent what. Voltage source. So let's see whether we add them or subtract. The resistor in focus, we are asked to find this voltage and we realize the question gave the voltage is polarity to be plus and what? Minus. So you should know that if I have a resistor and current is flowing through the resistor like this, whenever current flows, there will be a voltage then. But that voltage, where is the plus? Where is the minus? I mean the polarity. So where the current enters first, and where the current hits the resistor it should be your plus and where the current is leaving will be what the minus so the question gave us plus minus meaning the current in the circuit is moving in this direction right because we are seeing the same current is moving in this direction mm -hmm. because the question gave us the plus the minus so the current is moving in this direction throughout what the circuit so we can calculate our total voltage. So the total voltage, you should know that the voltages which are producing current and the current flow is aiding our current direction is positive. If this one is producing current and it's in the same direction as what our current in the second place are, then it means this voltage will be considered to be positive. But if its current direction is opposing this one, then it will be negative. So let's check. We have plus and minus. So let's check our total voltage, what it will be. So let's say we total. Let's consider this one first. This one is producing current from the conventional current flow. Current is moving in this direction, in the same direction as what our eye. So that one will be a positive voltage. So well, this one, the plus is here. It will be producing current opposite to what our eye. So we have minus 30. This one could be what minus. 30 and this one to be minus 18 because of what the direction of the current flow. So our total voltage now is going to be 12 minus 78, which is let's say 12 minus 78, and this is even as what 60 minus 66 volts. So our total voltage in this circuit is what negative. 66, not positive, negative 66 volts. So we also have a number of resistors connected. We have 9, 5, 2, and 4. They are all in series. So we can calculate the total resistance as well. But then I would love to maintain the resistor we are working on. I don't want to add it to any resistor. So I will maintain it and I'll add the other resistors. So I'll add the 9, the 5, and what? Therefore, let me call it R equivalent because it's not the total. So let's say 9 plus 5 plus 4. And this is giving us 18 watts ohms. So I have the total voltage negative 66 and the equivalent of 1, 2, 3, 2 volts, 18. So let's draw the circuit becomes this. I have a single source with two resistors. 
one of them is the 18 I've combined and the other one is our 2 right so this is our 2 ohms v not here this is our R equivalent which is what 18 and this is our source don't forget we are using the 12 volts we use that one to be what the positive and we got negative 66 volts so it means our resultant voltage will be what plus minus because the current is supposed to flow in this direction and its value is what negative 66 volts you can use 66 volts but then it means your voltage here your polarity will be what plus minus that will give you the 66 but if we are using this polarity it is what negative 66 volts so we can now calculate the voltage for what the two the two ohms and the 18 ohms are in series and they are sharing this voltage when these two are in series they will share this voltage so we can apply the voltage divider rule we use the voltage divider rule when resistors are in series and they are sharing the voltage we use the current divider rule when the resistors are in parallel and they are sharing the current know the difference so since these two are sharing this voltage we use the voltage divider rule so using the voltage divider rule let's say v d r the voltage divider to calculate the voltage for this one v naught so voltage v naught the formula says that if you need this voltage it is the resistance over some of the resistors sharing that voltage times the voltage they are sharing i need this one's voltage so it is the resistance there which is two over some of the resistors sharing that voltage which is two plus the other resistor 80 times the total voltage they are sharing negative volts 66 so this gives us 2 and 20 by negative 66 we have 1 and 10 by negative 66 and our grain dot is one negative 6.6 volts so the voltage across the two ohms per equation is equal to what negative good. So this is all what source transformation is about. Just change your voltage source to current or current towards a voltage source. Thank you very much for watching this video. We will meet in our next tutorial.